we're just really excited to be here and be part of this historic mission um, with the two dragons on board, first reuse of a capsule, first reuse of a booster. It's just an, a, a tremendous achievement on behalf of our, our partner SpaceX. So I want to congratulate and thank them. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Thank you for clicking on this video. We're going to talk today about last week's amazing crew to launch. Also wanted to show some pictures and video that you guys sent me of the twilight phenomenon that I also touched on last week. There was a possibility of it. Well, it happened and it was magical and wanted to share some of my interview with Scott Manley. Definitely flew safe with him in that interview. If you don't know who he is, go subscribe to him, but I'm guessing that most of you guys know who he is. He has like over a million subscribers and he is big in this niche. So let's get right into it. Endeavor arriving. As many of you know, if you watched the launch, it launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida this past Friday. And some of you on the East Coast got to witness a spectacular uh, view of the twilight phenomenon. And I talked about that the potential for that. I thought that it was going to be Thursday. That launch was rescheduled for Friday, but luckily so many of you guys got to see that. Some of you even sent me pictures and video. And Those thrusts that you're seeing, that's the um, nitrogen thrusters on the booster as it steers its way, uh, getting ready for its landing burn. And again, there's the, <laughs> there's, there's the twilight effect in full glory, just lighting up the sky here over Georgia. And this Crew Dragon spacecraft previously carried NASA astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley to the ISS as part of SpaceX's Demo 2 test flight. So this flight is the first time that a SpaceX Crew Dragon was reused for a launch also the first time that two Crew Dragon vehicles are docked at the station at the same time. So a lot of firsts with this Crew 2 mission. Reuse is, is, uh, is a big thing that SpaceX has been doing. So it's great to see this actually being allowed now by NASA because originally they weren't sure about it. The booster originally flew Crew 1 yes. uh, and the capsule uh, was from Demo 2, which as I was saying, uh, yeah, Megan's literally sitting in the same seat that her husband sat in in May last year. The four astronauts, Megan, Shane, Akihiko, and Thomas arrived safely at the space station about 23 hours after their successful launch, and they are ready to begin their mission in space. So what does that look like? Well, for the next six months, they'll be conducting over 200 experiments. That'll be really cool to follow the progress of. We have several different experiments going on inside of the space station in racks in different little facilities like our, our life sciences glove box that we use for for biological and life sciences but we also have experiments that are are run on us as many of you know the launch was rescheduled it was supposed to happen on thursday it was rescheduled to friday and this is obviously not uncommon to see but i did learn that as the astronauts were preparing to go to sleep on friday spacex controllers called them to warn them about a possible space junk collision hazard. Obviously the debris passed by the Crew Dragon capsule without incident, but man, that would make me nervous. So right now there are 11 astronauts on the station. That'll be the case for a few days until the four Crew-1 astronauts return to Earth and that will be on Wednesday, April 28th. So that is also coming up, very exciting. But this is a lot of people at the ISS at the same time. It's only for a few days, but they did have to prepare by building extra beds and typically only three to six astronauts are on the ISS at a time. So this is definitely a large group of people in there. It's gotta be crowded. And again, on schedule for the rest of 2021, we can look forward to Crew 3. That launch should be in late October. We can also look forward to Inspiration 4, and that should happen no earlier than September 15th. If you're unfamiliar with that, that is the first ever all-civilian crewed space mission, and that is set to launch 
launch four space tourists on a three-day orbital mission. Again, no earlier than September 15th, but we will see if SpaceX can stay on schedule with that timeline. What has it been like to watch, you know, SpaceX's metamorphosis from a startup 20 years ago to now, you know, winning the contract for the lunar lander? I mean, well, I mean, so I think for a long time, it's definitely been felt that commercial um, you know, space should have been a thing sooner. And it just always kept on failing in various ways. And SpaceX came along and they're certainly not the first commercial company, but they're the first to really turn it uh, and make it work in a, uh, a competitive market. And I think a large part of that is down to the way that sort of Elon came from Silicon Valley and took this very Silicon Valley approach of just trying stuff and not being necessarily so concerned about failing. Uh, and that is something that aerospace definitely was suffering from for a long time. So I, I think for me, this has just been proof that if you have, if you're, if you're not afraid, right? If you're, if you're happy to push the envelope and work hard, then this is, this is going to benefit you very well. The human landing system contract, oh boy. Yeah. I mean, that. so I think I'm, I, it's nice that they've won it, but I'm actually not so happy with the fact that the way this ended up because they literally won it because they didn't have any money. NASA was not given the money to do anything else. SpaceX adjusted their schedule a little to accept uh, a little bit of their money later. And so with the small amount of money, they were the only option. Uh, I, I think that I still, even to this day, I think I would have seen them more, more likely as a, as a sort of bet compared to either Dynetics or the national team. Both of those had landers which were much more in spec with the design that NASA was looking for. SpaceX is just like crazy way out there. It might actually be the better bet, but having two options, right? Two or two. Uh, is definitely a better, better place to be. And a lot of exciting firsts with this launch of Crew 2. And there's going to be a Crew 3 launch in late October. So I want to know from you in the comments, what excites you so much about these launches and just following the progress of NASA and SpaceX and everything that is going on right now? Tell me below what you're excited about, what you're looking forward to. And I love reading your comments. Love to hear from you guys. As always, thank you so much for clicking on this video, watching it all the way through. If you got to this point, good job. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. And again, I will have a lot more content, especially with my discussion with Scott Manley. Very, very cool guy. And can't wait to share more of that with you guys. Until then, I'll see you soon.